These are both ugly and beautiful, which is perfect because that's just my general vibe. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this entry of the nail journal. In today's video, we're going to be practicing our opals and nail art gems. And I mean practicing because I'm not good at them. <laughs> so let's have a go at like five different ways. And the first one, I'm going to be using this rainbow cat eye, some uh, Aurora chrome pigments, as well as some chrome gel. But whilst we're doing that, uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Please let me know your thoughts as we go through these, because like I said, I'm not particularly great at these. <laughs> so I just wanted to have a play around with some things and see how they come out. So this isn't a tutorial. It's just like a, you know, I avoid these because I'm not great at them, but I thought I'd see if I could find some easier ways to do them. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what I'm doing, because I feel like some of it is mostly self-explanatory. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, just gonna be playing around. I thought it'd be like a nice easy video just to see if I can get any better at my opals and nail art gems because I'm that great at them. Um, so just to recap, I laid down some blobs using the cat eye gel and I activated it. Then I went over the top of the cat eye gel with some top coat, just using a like short liner brush. Cured that for 60 seconds, went on top with some Aurora Chrome pigments. And now I'm just going around them with some um, Chrome art gel. Uh, or some liquid chrome, whatever you want to call it, chrome gel paint. <laughs> I cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm just finishing with top coat. So that was actually quite easy. It didn't take very long at all. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to make it easier, but also still get that effect. This one's not too bad. <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be more than one of these. So let me know what your favorites are in the comments. If there are any of these, like, I mean, I, I dare to call them techniques that you'll be trying. But yeah, I just thought I'd play around with some things. This polish is so pretty it's from amazon i will link it in my description um and i actually saw i think it's noodle yes do something similar to this i'll insert like their version somewhere on the screen but um i just laid down like literally one layer on top of that nude that was underneath and then i put a matte top coat on top and then i just went in with a thick um top coat the one that i sometimes use to do like droplets and stuff or like thicker top coat details because it cures with a no wipe surface look at how pretty this is and so easy like it's like what four or five steps so it's the polish the like pearlescent polish matte top coat then just like a top coat to kind of bring it out a bit more and then i'm just going in with the chrome gel paint to like outline to give it that kind of like opal vibe i don't know i'm also not like very familiar with crystals so yeah <laughs> but i really like how this one came out like it was super easy and it's so effective it's so pretty and these gel polishes were not expensive at all very inexpensive and especially if you're not putting them directly on the nail plate like if you put them on top of like they shade like i did here like it completely transformed that lilac shade that was in underneath i think that was like li lost lilac from D D, but it looks like there's almost like a nude gel paint underneath obsessed i topped that with top coat by the way cured it for 60 seconds and that's how i finished it for the next one um i actually i think this might have been one that like really surprised me <laughs> um but i just laid down a bit of top coat on top of the nude base and i'm just sticking a bit of foil on you know these foil transfers i've not used these transfer foils in ages foil transfers i've not used these in such a long time but i just cured and then you just peel it back and you reveal like this kind of like almost the underneath of a gem um, I've done these before on my channel. If you haven't seen me do them before, I will link the video. Um, but it's just a really easy way to create gems and also like a really fun way to do like super like shiny blob nail art. If you're wondering how some of your faves um, get that like effect, this is one of them. So just to recap, I just put literally just a thin layer of top coat down, stuck the foil like a, a you know, a really small piece of foil on top of it, cured it for 60 seconds and then peeled it back. And then you just put a bit of top coat on top. Voila. I did want to add a little bit more dimension. So I went in with this Aurora pigment that is like pink, but it has a purple reflect as well. And I'm going to be using for the outline this um, creme cara gel. This is Miley's latest release. Um, I just did a collab with them on this, actually. If you haven't seen that, please go to my Instagram, check it out, show it some love. Um, but I was really impressed with these. I've seen these like pudding gels for like ages i think they've been like the formula has been around for a while so i wasn't sure what to expect but these cure with a no wipe surface they're so easy to work with i just i mean hello <laughs> so pretty i really like it um so yeah once i 
once I'd like drawn the outline, I cured it for 60 seconds, applied the chrome, and then I just went on top with top coat. And that's, that's that one finished. Like again, relatively simple. I think I might do this at some point because I really do like how this came out. So pretty, I couldn't stop staring at it. Let me know what you guys think of this as well or if you've tried this technique because that was my first time like using it to create literal gems. I've just used it to make like blobs in the past. Um, now I'm just using a black liner gel to um, create some like little blobs that are gonna act as like my kind of separated gems. I cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds before going on top with um, this cat eye gel. So uh, full disclaimer, the door um, went off as in like somebody knocked at the door, Amazon delivery, uh, whilst I was like hand curing this. So the first one kind of collapsed. But, you know, since we're just playing around, I didn't take it too seriously. But look at how cool this is. You can see the dimensions of the cat eye when I put the top coat on top. Um, yeah, so I just I just put the cat eye on top, activated it, cured it for 60 seconds, and then went on top of those with um, top coat. Now, I did try to repeat what I did previously and go in with like a rose colored um, chrome, but I don't think I cured it for long enough. So um, I just decided to go in with some silver just to add like a little bit more dimension, give it that real like jewelry feel. And I actually really like how this one turned out. It was really pretty, um, but again, fairly simple. For the fourth one, I wanted to use this Sunflower Honey shade from um, Medusa. I don't use this anywhere nearly enough. Doing a similar kind of, um, almost exactly the same thing as I did with the purple pearlescent um, uh, gel polish, but this one is really thick. So the nail ended up looking a little too thick. I think if I was to redo it, I would go in with thinner layers, but also just look at how pretty that reflect is. So I did two coats of it, went in with a matte top coat and then just did the same thing thick top coat to create that kind of like blob shape. Then I outlined this one a lot thinner, cured it for 60 seconds. Again, this is the, I think this is the Miley Creme Carriage Gel that I used to do this. And then um, I'm going in with gold chrome. And then all I did was just go on top of this with uh, top coat just to seal the section that I liked because I forgot, of course, <laughs> that if you get chrome in a matte top coat, it's gonna stick to it. My matte top coat anyway. Maybe not yours, but mine definitely does that. So I just wiped away the residue with um, alcohol and that was it. Okay, this is all of them. This is like surprisingly quick, but I loved playing around with these. Please let me know what your favorites are. And of course, don't forget to like, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy this kind of quick, fun video where I played around with some techniques and I shall hopefully see you in my next one. Goodbye.